All right, this is what a mix of city and highway drive looks like on a GLC 63 AMG at uh, over 18,000 miles. These are brakes. I'm just doing a reference point here. Looks like I still got a little bit of a pad left, but I came across to the backside pads and to my amazement, they are quite worn down already. As you can see, I don't know if you can tell from there. See, it's just very thin. So it's definitely getting close to time to change. No wonder why I was hearing some squeaky sounds. Um, I'm just gonna reference the suspension here. I am going to get adjustable um, upper control arm so I can actually adjust this camber a little bit. I notice there's a little bit of too much cambering going on in the rear. The front is fine. As you can see from our tires, the way they're touching down, they're nice and even. The rear, the rear I noticed right over here, it, it's, it begins here and then it touches across here. So that's why that means a little too much cambering. It needs to touch that side. But uh, I just changed the oil right now. I'm just letting the final stuff drip in. It's the engine bay. And going under the usual spot. That is where you drain the oil. Boom. All nine plus quarts of it. And there's some more hiding in here as well with the filter. That's a 24 millimeter. And this is a, that was an eight. 8 millimeter hex and people asking like with the front diff area that's a drain plug right there for the front diff you need that pump to pump up in there and then you know cap it off and then you have to quickly like fill it and uh, plug it up before anything drains it's kind of a tricky process but get it done here I just removed the back panel because I needed to reference and know where the uh, transmission fluid is and there was another heat shield across this, as you can see the two um, twin pipes from the twin turbos coming down. Beautiful stainless steel stuff. And uh, yeah, and again, that's the same drain plug style as found on the oil one. I believe they are the same one, but oh, I'd have to reference a part number. But I just wanted to get a reference. I'm sure that looks like that carries a ton of fluid in there. Looks like this is a trans cooler as well. Oh yeah, there's the part number for any reference. Or my reference. Anyone else who's interested. So, yep. The thing is, if I was to drain this transmission fluid, where on earth would I fill that up at? I couldn't see anywhere where I could fill that up. I looked on the other side too. But the front diff is right here, if people were curious. The rear diff, I have, I have drained the front as well. I didn't do a video on that one. Oh, this looks like the actuator for the uh, power steering adjustments. Let's get back out here. Like I said, I'm not sure where, some, uh, where someone would fill up the trans cool or a transmission fluid but yeah that's all I wanted to reference from the servicing I don't know if that's useful to anyone coolant level I did top it off a couple of times it, it hit to the it hit to the min at one point and then I just fill it up to the to the max when it's cool of course like I said, all this is reference for anyone. This is the 63 GLC 2021 with the M-Box system, the new system. And my quick jacks with the extensions are holding. Show for reference where I have them lifting points over there on the Merc. And those are the quarts of oil. 
when I dumped it. Of course you spill a little, but overall, I filled that up to the five quart when it was brand new. And then that right there is one, two, three, four. Right up to the four line. So looks like about nine quarts. I believe, oops, excuse me, a little over nine quarts to be fair, because quarts are on this side. Liters are on this side. I filled this up to where it was full originally. So that's five quarts. And this is over like nine and a half quarts. That's pretty much where we're at on that. Anyways, good reference to stuff. We can review later.